So how do you give woke Hollywood an F you without explicitly saying F you? Well, you do what Sylvester Stallone did last night at a star studded event at Mar-a-Lago uh, where he introduced the 47th president of the United States. And uh, I'm going to play this little clip for you here and uh, let you see for yourself. I need Spanish lessons, no question about it, right away. You're rolling tomorrow. I'm very, very proud to be here. I didn't expect this, but I'll just keep it short and sweet because there's no such a thing as a speech too short. When I did Rocky, if you remember, the first image was a picture of Jesus, and it says Resurrection AC Club. I found a church that had been converted to a boxing ring. So the image pans down from Jesus onto Rocky being hit. And at that moment, he was a chosen person, and that's how I began the journey. Something was gonna happen. This man was gonna go through a metamorphosis and change lives, just like President Trump. We are in the presence of a really mythical character. I love mythology, and this individual does not exist on this planet. Nobody in the world could have pulled off what he pulled off, so I'm in awe. <laughs> and I'll just say this, and I mean it. When George Washington defended his country, he had no idea that he was going to change the world. Because without him, you could imagine what the world would look like. Guess what? We got the second George Washington. Congratulations! Now, the reason why I play that clip is because St Sylvester Stallone, to my recollection, has never really dipped into politics, never made his opinion known as far as politics. You can correct me if I'm wrong down in the chat below or in the comment section below. But at 78 years old, which, by the way, is the same age as President Trump, I think he's at a point in time in his life where he's like, you know what? I've made my money. I've got a good living. I don't really care. Now, suffice it to say, you know, he did a few months back, or was it last year, uh, make the move from California to Florida, which kudos to him for making that move because we know what, what a cesspool California is. But there's also one last part of that. Um, He, he had walked off after saying he was the next George Washington or the second coming of George Washington. I don't have it here. But um, according to this article, uh, Stallone and Trump's relationship has been well documented with rumors that the actor was a possibility to be chairman of the National Endowment of the Arts during the 78-year-old poll's first term in office. The star studded the event at Mar-a-Lago featured well-known Trump supporters and politicians who were announced as members of Trump's new administration. Uh, Tulsi was there. RFKJ was there. Elon was there. Um, Cheryl Hines, RFK Jr.'s wife, Donald Trump Jr., Kim Kimberly Guilfoyle, Tucker Carlson, among others. Uh, Jack Posobiec was there. I think Clay Travis was also there. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was a, it was a star-studded event. So, the question to you guys is, what do you think of Sylvester Stallone's comments? Do you agree or disagree? Sound off in the sex comment section down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch, the time to tune in. And I will see you guys later.